How and when did you start playing golf? I started playing golf when I was five years old. <laughs> okay. In Delhi, uh, my father was a golfer, so I used to tag along with him, and you know, that's how I started playing. Okay, and uh, there was a story that you were earlier from college. You started playing seriously from golf. That's true. I mean, I I I played amateur golf till I passed out of uh, college, and then uh, once I passed out, you know, I had to decide. what to do when i was enrolled in a mba institute but then i just thought that you know i'll play one year of pro golf just to get my fill of golf and then do the mba and i turned pro in 91 december and uh, you know the next 6 8 months i played really well i won three times on the pro tour i won once in malaysia i had a few runners up finishes and uh, never look back from then okay from your three asian to victories which one is the most memorable for you uh, i would say the most memorable would be gargil masters because it happened in front of my friends and family at home in delhi golf club it was probably the first really really big event uh, with you know good galleries and live tv and stuff so and and also the the way i won it you know chipping in on the last hole to beat vijay kumar um that was very memorable but i think the most satisfying win was uh, in beijing in pine valley open because you know after a gap of 11 years i had won in uh, taiwan the year before and uh, not to prove to anybody but to myself that it wasn't a fluke i really wanted to play well and you know i i went into beijing in great form and i told myself that you know i'm the best player this week in this field and i should win it and i actually did that i mean you know it was just a it was it was just something that i told myself to psych myself up but uh, you know that was that was very satisfying to win there after winning in taiwan Uh, what is it like to win in the home of golf in the Daniel Cup? You win against the uh, Colin Montagram. Well, that was very special. You know, we guys were obviously the minnows of the golfing world. Nobody, you know, really knew much about Indian golf. And for at least one day, we put Indian golf on the front pages of, you know, uh, all the papers in UK. and uh, you know we walked in for dinner that night and guys like nick price and greg norman gave us a ovation so it was very special you know it just makes you um, you know those are the kind of moments you dream of as a kid you know so that was something very very special in the talking about 97 open championship how was the whole week and how were the conditions compared well, to mean, india troon troon is one of the toughest golf courses on the open rota and the conditions were brutal the first two days i only played two days i missed the cut it was very very brutal it was very windy and uh, you know it was uh, the golf course obviously was set up for a major um, you know in those days uh, unlike today you know you qualify for a major sometimes a few months in advance so you can prepare well but uh, i qualified on a monday evening and tuesday i was at troon in this big carnival and uh, you know i i just wasn't prepared for it mentally or game wise so other than that it was just a fantastic week you know hanging out with all the best players in the world you know sharing your locker room with them um, sitting in the players lounge having you know lunch and dinner with these guys it was it was a I mean, it is the biggest tournament in the world, so obviously I was in total. I was overawed by the whole occasion, but uh, I wish you know uh, I had a chance to prepare a little better. Yeah. Sadly enough, you are shockingly you never again played on the Open Championship or any majors. Yes. So what was the reason? Well, you know, actually, the Open 90... qualifiers are difficult. No, in '97, my father fell very ill. He was he had a stroke, and he was kind of. Uh, he we had a rough time at home uh, on a personal front and for a few years i didn't travel much you know till till 2002 uh, from 98 till 2002 i pretty much didn't travel and play as much as i would have wanted to um so maybe you know one of those things uh, one of those reasons uh, why you know 
I couldn't do as much as I wanted to, but no regrets, you know, in life. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful for whatever, you know, I've been blessed with playing this game and no complaints. Okay, and uh, it must be satisfying to get a comeback from 2005 victory after that sad part and you won again on Asian Tour for the second time. Yeah, it was. It was very, very satisfying because I knew somewhere deep inside, I knew that you know, I was a uh, much better player than what I had been playing. And uh, from 2003 onwards, I, you know, made a conscious decision with my wife that I'm going to rededicate myself to the game and work hard. And I went and started working with Claude Harmon in, in the US. And uh, that really helped me. And, uh, you know, I guess hard work paid off. Okay. And how is your current season going on? This season? I'm not playing that much now. I'm okay. almost like a ceremonial golfer now. I'm not... Uh, I, I I was playing pretty consistently and pretty regular till last year, but uh, uh, this year, you know, in 2021 May, I had COVID and got a pretty bad case of it. And ever since then, I've been struggling a little with, you know, aches and pains and niggles. And uh, I'm 53 now, so I'm looking at moving on and doing some other stuff rather than playing okay. full-time. One advice for upcoming golfers? You have from your uh, excellent career in golf. Well, just you know, you you got to enjoy this game. You got it's a game of a lifetime. Don't be hard on yourself. Work hard and enjoy the game. That's that's the only thing I can tell them. You know, I love this game as much as I did. You know, when I was seven years old, as as I do today. So, if you if you are truly passionate about this game and you're ready to put in the hard work, I'm sure you'll go places.